Hey guys, Bonzerk one again. Just got back from Smith's, actually, and good thing I did, because I found this little beauty in there, and I decided to purchase it. So, looking at the flower here, um, this is a new breed from Waylay Orchids. It's been out for a little while. It's an orangey yellow flower with these red flame, flamed edges on the side. It's pretty nice, and it's got a nice neon purpley lip. So, I decided to get it because, you know, I have already two of them, but this one was showing some strange uh, qualities and characteristics uh, because of its flowers. Uh, if you saw my video a long time ago, I said strange orchid or something like that. It basically had two different colors on two different spikes or something like that. It was um, one, one flower was red and the other one was this color on different stems. So I'll just go ahead and show you the orchid real quick and then I'll get to the good part. So the orchid looks pretty good in general. Nice glossy leaves. And then the, the roots as well pretty good. Need to water it though, it's a little dry. But what I really what why I really bought this orchid was because of this. Okay, so we have a two-toned orchid. <laughs> it's quite odd. It's very unique. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know what would cause an orchid to do this, to cause it to um, have half balloon, ha well, half colors. So one side regular and the other side mutated. Very strange. I mean, I've seen this kind of characteristic on this plant before, on these, on this species, but this is quite, quite unique. Something new. So I just had to buy it, and if. If you know me, I just had to, so, and you see why I had to, because it's, it's quite nice. So I don't know if I were to, if I were to actually pollinate this thing, if the seeds, um, if it's, well, lineage or it's uh, offspring would actually have this sort of characteristic, I'm not entirely sure. But I thought I'd share it, and I'm probably going to take it into the Orchid Society tomorrow, and explain, and probably get a get some answers or something out of it because it's pretty unique. I mean every other flower is fine. Every other flower. Perfectly normal. Except for this one. And you can even see here if I zoom in more the head of this thing. Uh oh I'm not getting good light here. I'll make another video soon, probably tomorrow so you can see the flower better. But you can see it's even on the head here where the pollen is. And it's funny too because it's spotted and the other side you can't see it. You can't see the spots as much because it's yellow. Very unique. I love it. I love seeing plants with this with these strange phenomena. I just have to buy them when I see them. And that's actually that's actually it. I just wanted to show you all and I hope you enjoy and if you have any answers of why this is happening or how this happened, I'd love to hear it down in the comment section below. Uh, a lot of people say it's uh, just a mutation and, you know, the just the chromosomes, they just didn't match right and the flower came out this way. Um, I also think it has something to do with temperature, uh, but that's just me because usually if you expose the flower to a certain temperature at a certain time, It'll start developing that way, and then if you expose it to another temperature, it kind of puts it into shock, and it causes this genetic change here. But that's just me. Any other suggestions would be very interesting to hear down below, so leave that in the comment. Uh, leave a comment, and please like and subscribe. Uh, that would be very nice. So, this is Bonsorica1. Thank you very much for watching, and happy growing. I'll see you next time.